Okay, so we're going to be moving on to an example of how an ER diagram question would look like, just to give you an idea, a brief idea about how it would come in the exam. Because when I first gave in and I just understood the concepts, I didn't know what kind of questions would come. So yeah, just to prepare you, what kind of questions are on your way, I'm just giving, I'm just going to solve an example in front of you. All right, so the, first, the question says, UPS prides itself on having up-to-date information on the processing and current location of each ship item. To do this, UPS relies on a company-wide information system. Ship items are the heart of UPS product tracking information system. So shipped items can be characterized by item number, weight, dimensions, entrance amount, destination with its street address, zip code, and state, and final delivery date. All right, so let's just draw the entity first. It's easy. You can't keep tra track of stuff easily. So shipped items. It has what? Um, item number. Item number. And then um, weight. Dimensions. And then what you called uh, insurance amount, insurance amount, excuse my crappy handwriting, and destination with its street address, zip code, and state, and final delivery. Okay, destination will be a composite attribute, as you can guess. So destination with a street address, street address, then zip code and state and final delivery date delivery date okay um, I'm writing in a short form but make sure to write meaningful attribute names in your exam because it's kind of hard to write in a graphic tablet I didn't get used to it yet anyway so, uh, shipped items are received into UPS system at a single retail center. Retail centers are characterized, so retail center is an, an entity. So, retail center, retail center has a type, ID, and address address is an atomic value in this case because it wasn't specified if it has some divisions all right let's just point out the okay we'll find we'll write the key attributes later okay so the relationship is received all right now the second relation third entity is Shipped items make their way to the destination via one or more standard UPS transportation events, flights, truck deliveries. These transportation events are characterized by unique, okay, so transportation events is, uh, uh, what's it called? It, it has, it is an entity. So uh, transportation events, let's just write transportation. Transportation. And they are delivered, delivered by these transportation. So a transportation has a type, a delivery route. and a unique schedule number so schedule number all right now let's identify the key attributes here so the key attributes for shipped items is item number for retail center is id and for transportation is schedule number right so unless it's mentioned it's unique, uh, unless it's not mentioned it's unique, then you have to figure out like what would what would what is more likely to be a primary a key attribute. All right, so we have all these done. Now 
there are there isn't any specification if the participation has to be total or optional so we can't just write you know write write down the total optional thing. it's it's actually not necessary because they didn't specify it if you want to you can but you have to write down the assumptions you made why you think that this uh, participation has to be uh, what you call total or optional all right so next we have to write the cardinality ratios now, as it was mentioned, shipped items are uh, what you call shipped items are received at the UPS system at a single retail center. So, single retail center and shipped items are many. One retail center can't just have one shipped item. That doesn't make sense, right? I mean, what's the? It's like waste of space. You can have many shipped items at one retail center, and many shipped items are delivered by transportation events so let's just have the assumption that many shipped items are are tra delivered by many transportation systems it can be trucks flights or yada yada so yeah so the the this is the cardinality ratio since there's just two two relationships here so one many to one because many shipped items are received at one retail center and many to many because many shipped items are being delivered by many transportation systems now I wrote many shipped items because that's my assumption. You have to write down the assumptions at the end of after you know drawing the whole year diagram. You have to write assumptions made where many shipped items are received, blah blah blah, at by many are, are delivered by many transportation events. So because many because all these year diagrams they're not exactly accurate unless everything every single detail is specified if it's not specified if it's kind of vague you have to make assumptions and you have to also write it down it it varies from person to person this whole uh when when things when informations are vague it varies from person to person because may so they all of the each each people each person makes a different assumption about their ear diagram so it's better if you write down your assumption of why you made this assumption and uh, that would be more accurate so yeah, that's about it for the ER diagram. I know this was a simple one. I'm sorry I couldn't find a complicated one. And I hope this cleared out uh, the question that how, what kind of questions would come in the exam. And yeah, that's about it. I hope you understood. Please like and subscribe if you want more CS tutorials and good luck.